Good Wednesday afternoon, guys. My name is Jerry Miller, and welcome to What's Barking Local, presented by Animal Connection. For nearly 20 years, Animal Connection has proudly served Charlottesville and Central Virginia. Today's show, an awesome one. Angie Gunter, Executive Director of the Charlottesville Albemarle SPCA, about three minutes away here on What's Barking Local. Oh, yeah. Before we get to Angie, we have a couple items in our notebook. So, Judah, <laughs> if you go to the two shot and welcome. Patty Zeller. Hey. How are you? I'm good. Recover from the fourth. How about you? Same. Yeah. Uh, we recover faster than our furry friends. We have lots of practice. Um, that's right. <laughs> but the furry friends now True. relaxed. Oh my gosh. Since we're what, a, is the 7th of July? It is. And oh my God, it's so hot. Yeah. It's so hot and so humid. So, right, you want to come start thinking about what your pets really, really need for the summer months. And, and come see us at Animal Connection. We have things like these great beds that you can fill with water Ooh. and keep your dog. It's like water, oh, nice. water bed times 10. A and water it, bed for dogs. Yes, and it keeps them really, really cool. I mean, right into you know, that cool water on their chest. Uh, we have special bowls that you can freeze and keep their drinking water cold. We have hydration um, electrolyte water that you can put in those bowls that are going to help them out through the summer. We have boots that you can put on so they can walk on the pavement. You know, you don't want to take them out when it's too hot, but even early morning or late evening, sometimes that pavement's really hot. Uh, sunscreen, paw protection. You know, a lot of people like to shave those dogs short, which we don't really recommend. Uh, but if you have done that, then you really should come and get some sunscreen so your dog's skin doesn't get burned. Flotation vests, because you know you're That's going on, right, you know you're going to go kayaking or paddling or motorboating and taking your dog, and yes, we know they can swim, but if they get into an area where it's a really far swim, they could get in trouble. So That's you right. want them to have a flotation vest, even retrievers, even labs, so all dogs should have one. A lot of people are traveling, make sure you come see us for really strong, sturdy ID tags, and we always recommend on your inside of your dog collar, Take a Sharpie and write your name and phone number. That's you a good know, idea. Because sometimes the tags can fall off at other places, and then you'll at least have some kind of identification in case your dog gets lost. So mm -hmm. Now, we also have things. some mm -hmm. frozen treats for summertime. We do. We have just got a freezer full of things that we're making, and we're making frozen yogurt, uh, frozen ice cream, of course, and then little things like popsicles, where we're adding our bone Pupsicles. broth. Yeah, goat's milk and yogurt and fruits and yummy, crunchy things that they can enjoy, yeah, indoors or outdoors. And um, while we're on that, come see our bakery. You yeah. Know, a lot of people have got things to celebrate. We did a huge amount of, of patriotic July. dog treats. Uh, for people to, for their dogs to enjoy, for them to take as hostess presents. And Judah is running some pictures of some of the things that we have, but everything from birthday or gotcha day cupcakes, uh, full size cakes, heart shaped cakes, bone cakes. I'm working on tomorrow, I'm making ice cream cakes Whoa. for summer parties. It's got a layer of yummy cake and then ice cream. We're making ice cream sandwiches and donuts. And the cutest dog breed cookies. We're doing personalized cookies. If your dog's having a party or a day, you know, we'll put your dog's name on a cookie. We have different dog breed shape cutters that look, you know, some of the ones I made for Yvonne and Coco, I mean, that multi-poo dog got her look just <laughs> like Coco. Christina yeah. Bateman Lopez is asking gluten-free options, Patty yes, Zeller. Yes, they are gluten-free. Wow. Uh, we can gluten do them. Gluten-free for dogs. Yeah, yeah most very of nice. Most treats are wheat-free, but we can also do them with things like garbanzo bean flour, oat flour, rice flour, uh, even things without any kind of flour. I mean, we we run the gamut, so we can, we can do what your dog needs. Now, we have to cover mm. the most fun outdoor party for dogs. I know. It's dog coming fest. soon. It is coming so soon. It's going to be September 18th and 19th before you guys know it. And uh, so we're going to do Dog Fest a little differently than we have in the past, but it's still going to be just as big and just as fun. So Saturday, September the 18th, we are celebrating our rescue friends and some selected pet businesses with displays in front of our Animal Connection store, all around the patio, in the parking lot in front of the store. We're going to roll out the red carpet for all of our VIP friends. And we consider anyone that supported us in the last 
Um, well, 20 years. 20 years um, is a VIP. I love mind. it. So we want to celebrate all of our friends and customers. Even if you don't have a dog and you have had one in a past or a cat, you know, you're going to want to be involved in this. We're going to have super duper swag bags. Um, super duper. Oh my gosh. They're so big. <laughs> They're really good. They're always good. Well, they, these are like the best. You ones excel, ever. and we were talking about this off air, you excel at merch bags, swag we bags. We love to do, you know, I'm lucky. I've worked with my suppliers a long time, 20 years. Well, and you're very generous and you like the gift. We do. We <laughs> you do? We do. I know you do. <laughs> I love to give presents. Yeah. We've got some cool things planned for that. We're going to roll out the red carpet. We're going to have photos. It's going to be so fun. And then on the Sunday, the Sunday, September 19th, we're just going to party. We want, to, we want to thank Charlotte Soul for all the wonderful things they've done for Animal Connection. And uh, we have the Gladstones on the stage at Ix. We have food trucks. We have my big dog, Blondale, that I do with Three Notch Brewery. And we're just going to dance and play and have a large time. That's great. Yeah. That's, How about it? I, I mean, you can't so beat that. It, it's a weekend of fun. Someone who loves it? fun. Mm. Yes. That's sitting on this set. She is. That's right. <laughs> she's Gunner. got a big party. She's planning too. She likes to have fun. <laughs> so, yeah, we want to welcome the, Angie Gunter. The Critter Ball That's is right. something we're going to be talking about. She's the executive director the of the Charles Almo SPCA. SPCA. Right. Que pasa? So, how are you? Right. I'm doing well. Thanks. Yeah, thanks how, for having me. How was your fourth? Fourth was really quiet. Yeah. Stayed home with the dogs. Okay. Um, my neighbors had some fireworks, so wanted to keep the dogs calm and uh, make sure they didn't run away. So they That's did nice. well. Yeah. Did you so. have a lot of dogs in the shelter from fireworks? No, we actually That's did good. not receive a lot, which is a good thing. But we do have a lot of dogs in the shelter. We have a large inventory of dogs and cats yeah. that we really need to move. So, But the fourth was fourth went well, just very quiet, and I'm happy about that. I think moving them to Carter's Mountain might be a good thing for sure. the, for neighborhoods. They're not, you know, having yeah. it downtown, it's loud for so many sure. neighborhoods. I think yeah. moving it, it was a good idea, especially for dogs. Well, yeah. were you getting the residual fireworks after the 4th of July or before? Oh, I'm still you getting them. You're still getting them? Oh, yeah. yeah. And in my neighborhood, yeah. yeah. You, know, you know where I live. We have fireworks every weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting some of that too. Um, a lot we're going to cover. We we have a foster focus. Yeah. A foster gift certificate program. Well, that's going to be Miss Miss Bowden here is going to discuss that. Let's introduce your foster. Yeah. Your foster, so your Kelly friend. Chisholm is okay. our foster of the week, and at what I think was really incredible about her, she started this last August by finding a litter of stray kittens, okay. and she fostered them for us. And since then, she's had five litters. So we wow. love her for doing this. <laughs> we're so grateful. And what's even better is she's wonderful at promoting these kittens to get them adopted so they have their own instagram account Ooh. so yeah oh, man. it's great so we we always appreciate our fosters we couldn't do what we do without them but when they go that extra step and promote them for us even better yeah. so you know one thing you have that really nice foster support group that's so active and they yes they talk with each other and they they talk about their animals and they help each other out what a great support system yeah. for anybody that wants to Consider being a foster, you know? Absolutely. A lot of support. And I know you said yeah. Beth Marcus is joining. She has more ideas, too, on how we can engage the community even more. Beth Marcus. Oh, boy. She's come right. to the show. That's right. Join us on the show, Beth Marcus, please. Nice. You know you are loved here. That's right. <laughs> Exactly. Um, we want to get some dogs and cats adopted. Absolutely. So we have a special that started today that's running through Sunday for our feline population. So all cats are $25, and that's through um, the Clear the Shelters we're participating in, mm -hmm. okay. through the Bissell Pet Foundation. So we are really hoping to move some felines. We actually have in our inventory right now. 336 animals in the shelter and 447 in foster. Holy Get out of town! Smoke. All of That's those are not available, but we're talking. We do have a lot that are available, though. You we guys have a lot are of such animals. Ballers, look at what they do <laughs> no. for the community. What were those numbers again? So 336 animals um, in the shelter. That's canines and felines, of course, and small animals. If we have rabbits and things, we don't have that many right now. <laughs> um, and 447 in foster. So That's a lot. It's a lot. Is that a record for you guys? No, it's no? not a record. Record, but how many fosters do you potentially need at this time? Oh my gosh! Um, as many as we can have. Four hundred forty-seven. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> no, right. some Got of those are letters, but we could, I mean, Make as we bring more here. in, we could, um, <laughs> right. we could have more. But yes, we need a lot of fosters. And unfortunately, you know, just full transparency, we've been promoting a lot, but we have not been getting a lot of fosters. So I know this has to do with so many people are finally out of their houses yeah. and vacationing. Mm -hmm. But um, the animals still need us. Um, and obviously, we want to adopt them as well. Adoption, without a doubt, is the best thing. But um, foster, we need foster to be able to save more animals. And you provide so much for the we fosters. We do. We provide you everything. Everything. It's really a simple process, a simple application. We provide all the food. We have a veterinary clinic, so medical care is provided. Yeah. Bed, toys, anything you can think of, we provide that. Right. And they get a ten dollar gift certificate. That's even better. If they better, get Maddie. accepted, yeah, yes. they get an extra one to spend any way they like at well, Animal where's Connection. Where's that gift card from? What? Where's that gift certificate from? Oh, Animal Connection. Can you yeah. imagine that? I think that's really nice, though. <laughs> it was so to, nice. Yeah, to yeah. get that gift certificate. I mean, it's wonderful. Yeah. We really appreciate we it. We want to try to help you guys. Yeah, get thank you. Everything you can out of the shelter. So yeah. we, go. we got a show, is it Barley, Forest, and Robin? Yes. Our dogs? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Judah, you got those pictures, don't you, Jadoffs? He He's does. Ready. So Barley is a... Look at the chemistry working here. Yeah. <laughs> barley is... Um, I'm particularly fond of Barley. He's a husky mix. He's about two years old in the shelter. And poor Barley. He's just a big, handsome, goofy boy. He got returned <laughs> because... He, um, he had a rushed in introduction with the resident cat, and we asked people not to do that. Nothing bad happened, but he's just a little too interested in the cat. We've not seen that. We don't do cat testing at the shelter, but when mm -hmm. he walks through the lobby, he seems to have no interest in the cats. Um, but we never recommend doing an, an introduction the first day or, or for a long time. You wait on that. It's different uh, when they're moving, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it is. So, Well, he didn't do anything, <laughs> right. but just there was some uncomfortableness that... The owner didn't feel, you know, thought maybe it wouldn't be the best fit. But Barley is... He's adorable. He is yeah, so cute stinking dog. cute and yeah. just needs to get a home, a good home. I think he would be just a fun dog. He is. He's just a big goof. Just nice. a fun dog. So <laughs> Look at the spotting on Barley. I know. He's got beautiful markings. He, he's yeah. gorgeous. I mean, he really, he looks like a, a husky. Um, I see that. We call them all mixes because we don't. <laughs> let's know. get Barley a home. Please. Please, please. let's get Barley a home. Let's get um, Forrest. Forrest a home. So, Forrest is a hound mix. We transferred him from Buckingham County. So, he's one of our Buckingham hounds. Um, all right. He is. A so hound. The, the only, and I don't want to say it's an issue, but he is a bit of an escape artist. Okay. So, you're just going to make sure he's not left unattended outside if you want to make sure you have a large fence, if that's the case, a tall fence. So, but anyway, a good looking hound, sweet boy, just. You know, he might want to go for a run. I so love you how need he to, sits like this. Oh yeah, he's he's, you know, very, he's regal very regal. Looking. Exactly, he's very, very regal. regal. Do do you get a lot of hounds and oh. beagles at this time of year? We yeah. get hounds and beagles really the winter time more during hunting hunting season. Yeah, when it's when over. the hunters are done with them. Yeah, you know, after that we do. But right now, no more than usual. But we this is a community of pit bulls and hounds, so we always have a, a nice inventory. <laughs> You're getting um, some props from Frank Sargent, Susie Lehman. Christina Lopez, and you have your friends at NBC29 watching oh, you. wonderful. <laughs> and so Robin got adopted. No so way. So you guys gave him good right. luck. I just Robin said, don't got remove adopted. It. Don't remove it. Yeah. So. Fantastic. Yeah, he just got adopted. That's so. great. Um, so anyway, yeah, real happy about that. And now I guess, look at the, Robin's a good looking Good looking dog. Um, <laughs> so we've got to move over to the cat. Good looking dog. That, Jerry used to say that when he yeah, came to the that yeah, yeah, that's a great looking dog. That's a great looking that's dog. Great looking dog. Like, that's a great looking dog. Yeah. Um, <laughs> sort of Jerry impersonation. Um, Monday, <laughs> Tracy and polyester. So let's talk about Tracy because okay. Tracy is only one year old. We actually transferred Tracy last year when we didn't have a lot of cats during COVID. We transferred this. She was in a group from RPM, Rescued Pet Movements in Texas. Okay. And this poor cat, like, certainly needs a, a break from the shelter, but really adoption would be key. So friendly cat, but lately is just real nervous in the shelter. So this is one I really want to see us get out. Um, this is a perfectly lovely cat, beautiful, um, and just uh, super, super um, handsome and friendly. But again, in the shelter, what the staff is seeing is at times a lot of nervousness. So please help us get this cat out. Um, deserves a home. Your friend, or maybe not your friend, but someone on the SPCA page, Amy Roy Rapolo. She says, I'm sending you guys big love from Houston, Texas. Oh, nice. Watching the show right oh, nice. now. Maybe she knows Trace. 
Oh, maybe she does. Maybe she does. I wonder if she's <laughs> Tracy's foster or something. No, but, no, no. Uh, we have a, a mutual oh, friend, Trace, oh, oh, uh, oh. who has a pet store there. And gotcha. She, she comes on the show sometimes. And, we love when you tell us uh, where you're watching. Uh, that's right. We've got Grayson in Belmont now watching the show. Let us know. Right. Um, for polyester, Tracy, Monday and in, Monday. Yeah. Love so the names. Monday is a seven year old um, female, owner surrender. Um, has lived with other cats. This is a just a solid cat to get adopted. We have so many of them. Like we're highlighting different ones today that are, have been in the shelter a little too long. Mm-hmm. So, um, but really, just a sweetheart, middle aged sweetheart cat. So, and cats are easy. Yeah. yeah. So you know, please open up your home to one of these animals. <laughs> and then polyester is one of our lobby cats. So that means you know you'll see these cats roaming around in the lobby. Five year old male, soft, soft medium. Um, long length hair and um, Emily who writes all of these descriptions for her animals says that <laughs> polyester has a teeny tiny white tail tip it's my fave feature is what Emily <laughs> writes <laughs> <laughs> Emily does this writing so it's my fave feature the nice thing about lobby cats is they've seen a oh they lot see of it action. all they see the dogs you know right. they see that's everything the coming through right that's there. right the that's lobby it. cat the lobby cat yeah. oh yeah, yeah. The, the staff do a great job moving the lobby cats because they get to know them so well oh man so, yeah. yeah so amy says that she fosters or they foster for rpm rpm we love rpm okay, so you know yeah. rpm oh, we do our okay. uh, transfers from rpm every other week practically she says i month. so wow. appreciate you all um angie and the spca nikki Schoff, sandra menendez um and others giving you props angie gunner you're a popular lady over in here in houston yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've we taken a lot of animals from houston and they're just <laughs> fabulous um, so houston's more than archie bell and the drills right yeah <laughs> evidently. <laughs> evidently evidently <laughs> evidently i had no idea did you know <laughs> what more than archie bell and the drills yeah well that they're from Houston, Texas. Oh, I know that. Yeah. That's more than that. No. Um, but we do. We have a great... We love rescued pet movements. They do so much good to help those animals down in Houston. And the foster base there is just incredible. I mean... They work so hard to save those those cats and dogs. I mean, I'm sure you all have heard of the corridor of cruelty in Houston. It's terrible. Um, it's like the wild, wild west, you know. Well, so I commend them for what they do. We only do a little part helping them out. Look at that. That's great. That's no, so really, it's Angie. true. It's true. Um, Fido field trips? Yeah, and we talked about that last week also. Yeah. We are yeah. going to start that back up this Saturday. So Fido's field trip is just... It's a wonderful way if you can't be a long-term foster. Uh-huh. It's just you could take a dog out for a day, and you do have to go through a minor training. I mean, we just make sure you're ready to go. You fill out an application, watch a video, and some safety orientation. But it's just getting our dogs out of the kennels. So this is specifically for the dogs. Um, you could go on a hike. You could go to Animal Connection and buy the dog a treat. <laughs> this um, would be a great thing for kids coming back to college, absolutely. too. Because, you know, you're away from home. You don't have your sure. family dog with you. Sure. Come take a dog for an afternoon walk or, or walk around the grounds or something like that. Let them have some treats. That's and a good idea. You feel good. The dog feels good. It's a yeah. stress reliever. Take them to class with you. Yeah. You know. And I will great. say, Patty, nice that you mentioned the students coming back. Like, UVA carries us in that foster program. The yeah. students are just incredible. Um, and we're feeling it now that they're home for break. That's why our numbers are so large right now. Ah, we we right. really count on them quite a bit. And they're very engaged in Fido field trips. So I know I've seen pictures of where they'll just take a dog and sit on the couch and watch TV for yeah. the day. Just, just, you know? hang just hang out. You don't have to go on a hike. I mean, it, it sounds like a like a field trip can be a lot if, of things. If I was uh, still at UVA, I'd be uh, fostering the dog's to walk around grounds, you know oh, why? Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yep. Back yeah. in the day, that's what oh, I would yeah, call yeah. Totally. Could you I mean, have seen right. that? Absolutely, you seen absolutely. That. absolutely. absolutely. every time. <laughs> absolutely. So guys, if you're looking for a girl and you need to go walk on the downtown mall, come get it. That's dog. why I that's adopted right. my first dog. I was a third year at UVA, <laughs> Lucy. Well, that's how I met Connie. I got Lucy from the SPCA. <laughs> did you really? No, I did. She's a Chow German Shepherd mix the summer before my third year. It was fantastic. Oh, nice. Very good. Thank you, SPCA, for that. (laughs) We're very grateful. That's how I met Conrad. He was was walking somebody else's dog. Oh, (laughs) jeez. Now we're talking scandal. Yeah, okay, so he was walking someone else's dog, and you went up and chatted with him about the dog? 
That was the icebreaker? No, that, it, it, uh, uh, that's all I'm going to say. Okay. <laughs> that's what I said, Jane. This, this is a Why are you getting so red over there, Patty Zeller? <laughs> had, had got to get dog treats somewhere, right? Yeah. yeah. Hey, you were just closing the deal. That's right. And you really closed the deal with Conrad <laughs> and the dog treats. <laughs> What can I tell you? You won twice, Patty Zeller. <laughs> Look at Patty Zeller. What can I tell you? Oh, <laughs> I've never I seen her blush. I, I have. I have. I don't she do loves it Captain often. Conrad. <laughs> oh, man, this has been great. I've enjoyed this. What else is on your uh, itinerary? So what else do we have here? That's I think funny. we should turn it back over to Patty, too. We're so excited about our adoption event this Saturday. So oh my gosh. we talked about the cat special running through Sunday, but we've got to look out for our dogs, too. So we are dual promoting animals through events this week. Um, Patty, do you want to talk more about what's happening this Saturday? To. Look sure. at the seasoned broadcaster oh, yeah. over here. That's great. That you, was you, good. you just take a back seat. We've I know, got I'm this. done. <laughs> We've got this. Angie's got this. <laughs> So, yeah, girl power. I love it. So, so, you know, we love a good party at Animal Connection, and we love helping rescue groups. So let's have a party. It's summer. We have a great patio in front of our our store with a fountain and a bar area. Yep, we're a pet store with a bar. That's right. So we are going to do a tiki party for the SPCA this Saturday. It's going to be from 9 to 1. Uh, You can come. You can have frozen treats free frozen treats for your dogs Ooh. you the humans are going to have tropical inspired refreshments you can meet some adoptable dogs are the caravan is yes, coming caravan is going to be there adopt yeah adopt. Right. We, so we, i know you, we have two puppies obviously we have dogs puppies, we've got some dogs. puppies right now too you can see what's available you can get some information and you can enter our hula contest. You can you can bring your dog. We're gonna have a hula contest for dogs and a hula contest for humans. <laughs> hint, hint. Are you gonna do it? No. Uh, are you, oh, yeah. are you kidding? And oh, run yeah, everybody you away? Oh, oh get your hula on. We're gonna no, do no, no, it. No, no, no. I can guarantee them. Beth will do it. Is she still watching? Beth Marcus. <laughs> oh, challenge Beth on. Marcus, I will do it, Beth Marcus. Beth, uh, challenge is on. <laughs> if you hula That's Beth, right. I'm hula and Beth. I'll hula too. There we'll we go. all hula. So, I think Beth would do it. Oh, I think so, too. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to have a photo area set up with some little tiki decorations and things. It's going to be so fun. Yeah. So come and check out the adoptable dogs of the SPCA and see what's going on. Where'd you yes. get that idea? What? Where'd you get that idea? Well, I've got this kind of a list of things that I've been wanting to do. Like, you know, we wanted, it was way too hot to do a 4th of July parade, but doing something like that, maybe doing something for the Olympics. I have got a running list of party ideas just waiting to happen. I think so, that's great. And if we can in- involve uh, a cause or a mission, as, well, at the same time we're having fun, all the better. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. It makes it all worthwhile. And, and then you're going to document it on the internet for it to live oh, in perpetuity. Yeah. And it'd be great if NBC 29 right. Why do you think I'm not participating right? yeah. in the whole contest? Yeah. That's right. Kind of live with that so, forever. So hands up. <laughs> all right. Everybody that's listening, hands no. up. Who wants to see Jerry Miller and yeah. a Oscar? You, you know I, I often... Hands up, uh, Jerry oblige, Miller. Like in the comments. I definitely oblige and, and say yes to what you want. Uh, 99.9% of your ideas. You know that. I know. You know that. Yep, yep, yep. So I will do it. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, do she's going to do it. Do I need coconuts or no coconuts? Uh, coconut shells, is it? Honey, that is up to you. Oh, okay. I mean, so all your bringing, optionals. All your I have hula skirts? skirts and lays. Okay. Okay. All right. So, but yeah, if you can rock the coconuts, game on. Okay, so I'm going to do it. <laughs> Beth Marcus, who's on the board, is going to do right. it. That's right. And we're going to persuade oh my gosh, yeah. it. Like it's going to take a lot this of persuasion. This beautiful lady to yeah. do it as well. Gosh, I'll do my NBC best. NBC 29, you're going to want to come video oh, this one. NBC 29, <laughs> you should cover it for the 6, 10, and 11 o'clock. News. Absolutely. When is, the, when is the actual contest? 11. 11. We're gonna, the contest goes live at 11 a.m. All righty. And it's going to go viral. I think it's going to go viral, too. Well, we're going to video <laughs> We'll put lot. it on our Instagram, 13,000 on our Instagram. So, um, yeah. I, I cannot wait for it. You let me know what you mean. I'm in. Excellent. 100% in. Um, today's show, flawless. I mean, can you flawless. See it's going very fluid Whoa. and smooth. Yeah, we're um, having fun. I, yeah. I am having fun. Um, anything else that you would like? You know, to get out there. Just again, these these animals right now. We need fosters. We need adopters. We need your help, and we are grateful for all the help that we get. Um, but we we still want to be able to bring more in, and we ha- we are seeing a bit of a lull right now. So, 
I know it's summertime, and this is always the hardest time in sheltering. Um, you have a lot of animals coming in and a lot of folks vacationing. So it's so easy to do to foster. Um, so please come and foster. Patty, the gift you're offering is fantastic. $10 gift certificate for being accepted in our program as a foster and taking an animal home. Is it for this month? Are we doing? It's, we're we're going to send it as long as you need it. Oh, thank you. So as we long appreciate as you need it. it. We appreciate yeah. it. You know, so. I think the same thing that's happening to the real estate market is happening to fostering in that folks have been quarantining mm -hmm. and, and dealing with COVID for so long. Now that we're getting vaccinated, we got the hell out of town. I know. We left. And like yeah. folks aren't putting their house on the market because they're leaving, they want a vacation. Yeah. So maybe that's what's happening. I think it is. It I is. do. I do. Yeah, and we're still doing well. I mean, yeah. we're still grateful, but we just we need to move some animals so we can keep bringing them in. That's right. And we're helping. And you need people to vote for you for okay. you're oh, nominated for that's best right. of Seaville, for best a lot of best stuff. rescue, yeah. <laughs> best right, yeah, best rescue and best of Seaville. So please vote you for need us. To vote. Go vote. Oh, is it best nonprofit? I think oh, it's, it's best, best, best nonprofit. Non -profit. Yeah, is it's it? best nonprofit. That's very right? competitive. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So please vote for us for best nonprofit. Yeah, we need SPCA, your vote. Nonprofit. SPCA. There's a yep. lot of nonprofits out there. I know. I, oh gosh, Charlottesville. Is We're the like king of the nonprofits. We are king of the right? nonprofits. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, and, and this businesswoman is nominated for a, a couple of categories as well. Um, yeah, we. I think we were nominated for grooming. Grooming. Yeah. And what's barking local? We were. Yeah. I Your did not podcast. know that. <laughs> I, what? Yeah. I did not know this. You didn't see it yet. No. Yeah. You're one of the shortlist. Wow. Yeah. Well, <laughs> by God, go vote for that, please. Go vote for Patty as well. Holy smokes. Grooming and podcast. What's working? Wow. Wait. These, these ladies are awesome. I mean, you guys are awesome. Oh, thank you. We have fun. You're yeah. awesome. Thank you. And we all have to say happy birthday to Judah. Because he's... He, you're important, but he really turns the wheels around he's here. <laughs> the young tower. This That's gentleman right. is 46 and doesn't a look a babe. day over Today? 26. Today? Amir babe. Uh, Tuesday was his birthday. Oh, is that right, Judah? Happy Happy belated birthday. Amir babe. Tuesday. It was Tuesday. Happy belated birthday. Was it 46, Judah? I mean, look how doesn't yeah. Think yeah. I would not think that. Right? Yeah, no, definitely not. That's why they call him the Young Cowers. That's right. <laughs> nice. That's He's why they call him the Young Cowers. Seasons cowers. well. He seasons well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just like you guys do. So <laughs> that's the, that's the show. It's what's barking low. It's nice yeah. to be twenty one, yeah. isn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> Patty Zeller yeah. of Animal Connection, the twenty one year old businesswoman. <laughs> yeah. Angie Gunter, the executive director of the SPCA. <laughs> You're twenty one. You got to be like fourteen. That's years right. Old. Oh yeah, <laughs> definitely. And I'm Jerry you Miller. Know. I guess I'm nine. Um, <laughs> this is what's barking low. Yeah. Wednesdays at 3 o'clock. We hope you enjoy the show as much as we did. We yes. will see you next week on the I Love Seville Network. Take care. Cheers. Hey, good job. <laughs> that was yeah. fun. That's so cute. Oh, wait, the mic's... No, no, he's no. going to tell us. They're clear. That was great. <laughs> <laughs>